In 2001, folks, I was so discouraged, I was so despondent, I was so depressed that I actually contemplated suicide. You see, I just lost my first wife, Diane, to cancer. She'd been my childhood sweetheart. We'd been together for 30 years. We'd raised a family. And here I was, all alone, after she died. I was so discouraged that I got in my car and I drove to Florida. And while I was in Florida, I was crossing this large bridge. It's called the Skyway Bridge, just south of Tampa, Florida. And there are more suicides on this bridge than almost anywhere else in America. And as I neared the top of this bridge in my car, a voice said to me, stop the car and jump to your death. And I believe there is a spirit of death on that bridge and other places too. Maybe there's one speaking to you, asking you to throw in a towel, to quit, to chuck it all, to commit suicide. And just like me, if you've heard that voice, immediately after I heard that voice, I heard another voice say to me, don't quit. Your daughter Christy and your granddaughter Cameron are still alive and they need you. And I felt like I was nothing. I felt so insignificant that I just wanted to quit. But the fact that I heard that voice and realized that my daughter and my granddaughter still needed me, that gave me the strength to carry on. And friend, I don't care what you're going through today. I want you to know that God still has a plan and a purpose for your life. You're needed. Somebody once said, you may not be somebody in this world, but to somebody, you are the world. You see, that daughter and that granddaughter needed me, and I was the world to them. And that gave me the strength to carry on. And somebody needs you, dear friend. So no matter what you're going through, don't give up. I want you to know that there's a brighter day and that God has a plan and a purpose for your life. And if we can help you at all, you contact us at inyourcorner.tv. And we'll do what we can. We'll pray with you, send you literature, do what we can to help you.